Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about project deployment on shared hosting. So let's see how can we deploy this Laravel e-commerce project on shared hosting. So first of all, uh, just go to the project directory and uh, uh, let's select all the file and compress this file okay in zip so select all and right click then click on compress to zip file now it's compressing the file Okay, now zip file has been created. Now uh, go to the PHP my admin. So let's open here localhost slash PHP my admin. Select the database which is Laravel 8 e-commerce TV. Now click on export. Okay, now click on go. Save. All right, file exported. Uh, database exported now let's open this uh, sql file all right you can see here the sql all right now go to the cpanel and uh, this is the shared hosting cpanel all right and uh, here first of all uh, let's check here the php version okay so in this uh, software section you can see here the select php version okay so just click on this version this link okay And here you can see the current, uh, current version of uh, PHP which is 7.2 okay but uh, for Laravel 8 PHP 7.3 is required okay so let's change the PHP version so from here just click on drop down and uh, from here select the version 7.3 all right now click uh, set as current All right, it's, uh, it's done. Now go back to uh, go back to the cPanel dashboard, and uh, uh, from here let's create the database. So in database section, you can see here the MySQL database link. Okay, so just click on this link, and here let's enter the database name. So I'm just going to enter here the database name e-commerce. Okay. Now click on create database okay now let's click uh, copy this database name and uh, let's open the notepad and save here all right go back now uh, let's create the mysql user okay so simply write here the username e-commerce password confirm password and create user okay this is the username now go back and uh, here uh, add user to database so this is the user and this is the database okay now click on add and here select all privileges and now make click on make changes okay done go back okay go to the dashboard and from here let's open this time php my admin
okay from here let's uh, open the database this one now click on sql and from the exported database sql file uh, let's select all the text and copy and paste inside this sql okay now click on go now click on a structure and here you can see all the tables are imported here okay now go to the cpanel dashboard and uh, click on file manager then open the public underscore html and uh, just remove this file okay now let's upload the uh, project zip file okay this zip file so let's copy this path and uh, here just click on upload select file and paste the url okay and now select the zip zip file this one and open okay it's down uh, uploaded now click on go back okay now select this file and uh, extract extract files all right now let's open the dot env file so uh, click on setting and uh, so hidden files so check this and save and now you can see here the .env file okay right click and uh, edit click on edit and here let's add the database credential so let's copy the database name and now here uh, you can see here the database here okay so just remove this and paste here this is the username also and password okay now save this file and also change here the app url okay so let's copy the domain name and uh, here just remove this localhost http colon slash slash localhost and paste here the domain name okay domain name url now save this file and close it now let's open the public uh, public uh, directory and uh, from public directory let's open the index.html file and uh, select this and edit so click on edit and from here let's remove this two dot so just remove this two dot and forward slash and from here also remove this and here also okay and also remove from here now save this file close it and select all the files so click on select all and now click on move and just move uh, and move to the public underscore html file okay so just remove this public okay and now click on move files all right now everything is done okay so let's check this so go to the domain and just refresh the page
and you can see here the e-commerce project is now live on this domain okay and if i click on soft page here you can see the soft page if i click on any uh, product page here is the product details page okay now check the login so click on login and here enter the email id so right here the admin email id admin at the rate admin.com password one two three one two three four five six seven eight okay now click on login and you can see here the admin user has been logged in successfully okay uh, from here you can see the all product okay everything is working so in this way you can deploy laravel e-commerce project on shared hosting so that's all about project deployment on shared hosting so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching